show you in real life stuff. This is how I create my art. I've decided that my nails need a little break, so I am using press-ons. I bought these press-ons off of Amazon because you know I am a hoe for Amazon. And if you need the link for that, go ahead and click the link in my bio and you will find my Amazon storefront and all the good find on Amazon. I link on there. Okay, so if I find something good and it's great, like the stand for instance, hi sand, how are you? I put that on my Amazon Stormfront as well. It carries your iPad and your phone at the same time and it also goes up and down. Don't mind the mess, okay? It's messy when I'm here, but it's it's not too bad. But yeah, so here I am making press-ons and these are gonna be matte and the matte makes them less clear and more frosty. So you won't be able to see my nail bed um, when I put them on. But everybody seemed to like these right here. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate these in a pink version. Because who doesn't love vibrant holiday nails, right? I do. And I know a lot of people are over the reds and the greens and the blues. Um, I might do a blue set because I do like blue. I think that's what these are going to be. But I really, really, really enjoy vibrant colors as well although i know that my page is all browns right now but i'm loving that too okay that's just where i live this is where my heart and soul lives black and white and browns and and all of that okay but i'm so happy you guys like these because these i was kind of like oh, they're not gonna like them they're different but i'm so happy that you guys did um but yeah so i show them in the sunlight and I show them also in the shade. See, so lighting does wonders for your nails. Make sure you're taking pictures of them in the sunlight. See, just different angles. This is my sky, okay? It's not a background. My sky is just always almost beautifully blue. And today it was a little cloudy, so I just used the shade. Hence the, the shadows in the back is like the tree, the shadow of the tree that's by me. But yeah, so play around. This is indoors because it was nighttime. So I was like, okay, F it. We're going to take a picture right here on my table. And this is it. And what I used back here is a foam board, a white foam board. It already has a little bunch of little arruguitas, a little bunch of wrinkles on it. But I kind of used an area where it didn't really have that much. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I use for that. A lot of people trip out on my photos, but my photos is just really, it's just lighting, you guys. You just got to get the right angles. Like sometimes, like I didn't really like this photo, but I was such in a rush. She also had to go to work and stuff. So like here, for instance, see how you see the, like the shadow on here? Like that's kind of what you want to like fix when you take pictures. I'm giving you so much information right now, aren't I? Um, like this one right here, like I would probably be like, oh, lift your thumb up a little bit lift this finger up a little bit so that you can see everything clearly like this one um and this one you know what i mean it's just more preference there is no wrong answer but definitely play with your photos so you can see where you can get like comfortable like what you like the outcome that you like my thing is just putting it up in the air wave my hands like i just don't care <laughs> and hope for the best <laughs> I have videos here too to kind of like showcase them as well because I know a lot of people would rather see videos of the work as well but I loved those those are great these are good too they're just too short but I like them so yeah anyway that's what I'm doing right now so stay tuned good morning if I sound a little ronca that's because I am because I just woke up it's about 9 a.m. I've been up since like 7 taking pictures of my nails this is what my hands look like, okay? Chubby wubsy. Um, but when I have nails on, they look fantastic. And yes, I ruined them. So that's why I'm doing press-ons to kind of just like give my nails some time to grow out. Here are all my rings. The way I go about the ring thing, I am here for a minute. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I am here digging in. I do need to organize this. So I'm gonna find something super cute and organize these damn rings because there's just so many and I don't want any of them to go unnoticed. Like, I even bought this one because it has an E on it. For the press on, so far, I've gotten the blue look, the pink look, the green, 
that one will be posted another day this is pretty much what i do in the morning i get up in the morning i take pictures because i am working all night and i don't really like to take pictures <clears throat> with the studio lighting that i have i have no idea what how to use them correctly yet so i'm just i go about going outside and taking pictures whether it's cloudy or not cloudiness is fine it's actually better for me um and then i don't have any like i don't get any like harsh light and stuff like that i just don't have the beautiful blue sky but it's okay so you know i what i do how i go about pairing the rings is i keep putting them on until they look good and i put them on and i switch them and then i look for oh my god I can't believe I'm showing you my hands, but look at how ugly and stubby they are. So I put them on and I'm like, oh my gosh, let me see if that works. And like look from look at them from afar and then kind of really stare at them and see if if they go with the nails. Actually, let me put these on and show you really quick. Okay, so here are the nails on. See how different my hands look with nails on? They're not chubsy wubsy anymore. <laughs> yeah. So Big, big, big difference. So let me see if I can do this on a stand. I'm gonna put my phone on the stand really quick. So I just have my phone on the stand right now, right? And so that's where I take pictures. Um, so I go ahead and just, let's see if I can get that to, okay. So I just put that on and then I just kind of play around with stuff and see if it works out. Let me see, I like this one super cute very cute and you just kind of keep looking at it from afar love that too sometimes like i look at it and i'm like oh, it's a little busy but you just kind of keep playing with it like i really like that one that's really cute I do face tune that because I hate my little scar there. I get that from filing nails. So sometimes if it's really prominent in the photo, because sometimes my skin gets blurred out in the photos automatically with the camera. I have the iPhone 13 Max Pro. Um, so depending on lighting and stuff, it kind of looks a little blurry. And so like, I don't want it to look too retouched, my skin and stuff like that, so I'll leave it alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and move you over here so you can kind of see like the vantage point of what it looks like when I take a picture right here. And it's really cloudy outside, so it kind of helps. So just open the window and let's see if it focuses because sometimes it doesn't focus. If it doesn't, then it is what it is and it sabotages me. Okay, let me get closer to the camera. And it would be something like that. Unfortunately, with the video, it looks a little darker, but when I take a picture, it's not like that at all. So, like, all of this will blur out. Um, and then when I brighten it up, the white background just becomes prominently white and stuff. So, focus, guy. Focus. You would think I know what I'm doing. Okay, so see? Something like that. But I would go outside, too, just to kind of see how that looks. And depending on, like, what the picture looks like, then, you know. I pretty much gave you guys a 411 on how I do my photos. Okay, I hope you guys find your look and your flavor like I did. Talk to you soon.